Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And today, I'm going to talk about the grace of baptism. Uh, for many of us, we were baptized as an infant. I was baptized as an infant. So we didn't know what really happened there. Uh, it was our parents, our godparents who were standing uh, to represent us in, in, in that baptism. And uh, so sometimes um, we really don't value what really happened in our baptism. Uh, but in baptism, uh, we know that, you know, it cleanses us from our original sin or from any uh, sin that we've committed. You know, it's like we're given a clean slate and, uh, and our re relationship uh, with God has been restored uh, because that has been uh, damaged by uh, the disobedience of our first parents, uh, Adam and Eve. Also in baptism, we receive the the Holy Spirit, which is the love uh, of God, you know, and, and we become uh, His children, His sons and daughters, and we could turn to Him as our Father. But also the, the Holy Spirit also is the power that He gives us so that we'll be able to do His will and to be able to love Him in return. Okay, So I would just like to share with you uh, the, the grace of baptism from the Diary of St. Faustina, section 916. So this is uh, St. Faustina writing this. In a private room next to mine, there was a Jewish woman who was seriously ill. I went to see her three days ago and was deeply pained at the thought that she would soon die without having her soul cleansed by the grace of baptism. I had an under understanding with her nurse, a, s a religious sister, that when her last moment uh, would be approaching, she would baptize her. There was this difficulty, however, that there were always some Jewish people with her. However, I felt inspired to pray before the image which Jesus had instructed me to have painted. So this is the Divine Mercy image. I have a leaflet with the image of the Divine Mercy on the cover. And I said to the Lord, Jesus, you yourself told me that you would grant many graces through this image. I ask you then for the grace of holy baptism for this Jewish lady. It makes no difference who will baptize her as long as she is baptized. After these words, I felt strangely at peace and I was quite sure that despite the difficulties, the waters of holy baptism will be poured upon her soul. That night, when she was very low, I got out of bed three times to see her, watching for the right moment to give her this grace. The next morning, she seemed to feel a little better. In the afternoon, her last moment began to approach. The sister who was her nurse said that baptism would be difficult because they were with her. The moment came when a sick woman began to lose consciousness, and as a, as a result, in order to save her, they be began to run about. Some went to fetch the doctor, while others went off in other directions to find help. And so the patient was left alone and sister baptized her. And before they had all rushed back, her, her soul was beautiful, adorned with God's grace. Her final agony began immediately, but it did not last long. It was as if she fell asleep. All of a sudden, I saw her soul ascending to heaven in wondrous beauty. Oh, how beautiful is a soul with sanctifying grace. Joy flooded my heart that before this image I had received so great a grace for this soul. So beautiful, the grace of baptism. Okay, uh, uh, maybe a lot of people think that it's only the priests or the deacons who could baptize, but in, in, in emergency situation like this, anyone could baptize. And uh, just using the, the formula, of course, acknowledged by formula of baptism, acknowledged by the Catholic Church. Uh, so there's really a beauty in the sanctifying grace of baptism. Okay? And also uh, in this video, I'm just sharing with you the, the, the power of uh, praying before the image of the divine mercy. You know? So if you're praying for uh, baptism or conversion of your friends and loved ones, uh, pray, pray to the image of the divine mercy. And I'm sure Lord Jesus will answer your prayers just like the way he answered the prayers of St. Faustina. Be a living saint. 
Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust you.